Welcome to drawing. We have a piece of paper that is 21 centimeters square. I just cut the end off a piece of A4 and I've chosen my treat. You can see that I have honeycomb Maltesers, only the best. And I've scrumpled up the packet a bit to make it more interesting, which makes things a little bit more difficult, but it's also an interesting challenge. And you can see me putting in the sort of marks of that big crease that goes through the packet where the T and the E and the S are. So if you look at the lines there, you can see how I make that look a bit more interesting and gives it more depth later on. I've got a fine liner with which I am outlining the parts that are black on the packet. I'm not doing the whole thing, but they've got this slight line and a heavy shadow. I've got two fine liners. I'm using a 04 and a 08 for these thicker bits that I'm now doing. So I'm making that look a little bit 3D. In case you can't see that on the packet, there are just some heavier lines in some parts of the lettering. I'm also using it for the information part, but I'm not doing an outline around the outside because in real life there's no such thing. So now you can see that I'm adding shadows. I've got a very pale grey, Payne's grey, if anyone's using fancy paints, but I'm just using a grey to put in the places where I can see darker spaces. And these will show when I go back over my painting and add in also light. So on the right there you can see I've left a little bit of space for a highlight and I didn't paint that at all. And where the letters are catching the crumples and the letters are slightly off-white, I've also added a very thin grey there. I'm using two slightly different reds, one's a bit orangier because there are spaces where it does look a little bit warmer and one's a slightly pinker red. And I'm filling in the spaces and going over those shadows I did earlier and blending. Quite often I'm wetting my brushes to just blend the shadows in with the red color so that it starts to look a little bit more 3D. And I'm using also two different yellows, a cooler and a warmer one, so that there are highlights in the yellow end of the packet there. I've got a little bit of grey, and you'll see me pushing a tissue in and out of my picture quite regularly. And I'll do a little bit of painting and then I'll blend out, or I'll take off some of the colour that I've put in, so that it looks a bit more realistic, and it also will give me a little bit of a highlight in the areas that I'm painting. So, you can see I've got just a few more touches to add in. I'm doing the actual Maltesers on the packet now. And then I'm going to choose a really good, bright, contrasty colour just to finish off.